Hi there, it's Dave Warner from Warner Epoxy. Today we are going to make a green, white and black piece. We are going to use uh, the stone coat forest green in the metallic and we're going to use white metallic, white base and black base. Uh, we use the heat resistant uh, stone coat. I already got them all in the cups. I got the forest green metallic. We'll mix this one really well because uh, the metallics not mixed well will leave little tadpole looking things. So we'll mix this one really well. And then I also got a white one with metallic in it. And what's cool about using metallics in base tint, they react to one another when they, when they touch each other. And we'll get uh, cool cells in my piece that'll really, really uh, make it look awesome. And we got the light metallic. Ooh. Did you see the dust? I did. I don't know if the camera could see it though. I guess I mixed it a little bit too fast. Even though I put my metallics in first to stop that from happening, it still came out. I'll let them set while I mix the other two. Alright, I think we're done mixing. We are going to start with the green. What do you say? That's enough. Spread it out a little bit. Oh, that's a pretty green. All right, now let's put the light metallic on here. Save some of that for if we want to do some drizzling of it later. Oh, that's cool already. Let's drill some of the white base tint throughout. I guess it'll just give us some real cool reactions. And the black. As you notice, I'm going completely off the piece to make it look more real. You start doing U shapes and stuff, and you'll pick them right up as man made. And we don't want that. We want to look like Mother Nature did it. Ooh, I didn't want to smear that one that guy, but I'll cover that up with something later. Of course, that might be my favorite part when I'm done. I'm just getting all the whole board covered now, making sure I don't have no dry spots. edges. Uh, as you can tell I rounded all these edges over with the 
quarter inch uh, router bit. That way the epoxy can flow right off these edges. And it gives your edges really smooth finish to them. And if you don't do the round over, you'll get a, a buildup of epoxy before it runs over the edge. are done. Look at that. I haven't even heated it yet. I already got quite a few cells going here. I'll get more when I put the heat to it. Epoxy here to here, a little thin. Oh, did I do that? You see that line goes down through there? I don't remember putting a line like that. I must have though. All right, I think we got enough epoxy on here. The heat to it, and then we'll see some cells, some more cells even form. Trying to wipe my hand off before I grab my heat gun. Zoom in on this. Try something. Want a couple lines in here? Or? Cause they'll have to let me know if I went too far. Take a picture of this, and then we're gonna add more to it. I think it's pretty cool right now, but I don't ever know when to stop. So. You guys write in the comments and see if I ruined this piece or if I made it look better, okay? Because I'm going to add some more stuff to it. I think I'm going to make... So I try the... Angled lines? Or should I go straight? Or should I heat it up first? And, well, no, we want to heat it up later. Then not everything moves. Pretty cool on black, thin black lines. So I add green ones too. Oh, I didn't go off. See, I did what I told you not to do. I made a U, but that'll all flow off anyway. By the time this settles, that'll flow right off. So that one will be fine. Not to try to remember to point that out when I take a final picture. What do you think? Should I stop? You can keep on going. Keep going?
we're going to heat that one up. This one here is the white the white base. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's get some air bubbles out of this and see what it looks like. this piece is awesome let me know what you think if you like what I've done please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up ring that bell for notifications when I do the next video and you'll get it delivered to your doorstep well maybe not to your door it depends where you keep your computer stay water from water epoxy thanks for watching